Hey guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to the M4J Journeyman here on Foot Manager 2018. Uh, this season's actually starting a lot quicker than I thought it was. Um, we're actually in the middle of pre-season, believe it or not. I think I've played three pre-season friendlies. In fact, let's find out how many I've played. Four pre-season friendlies. Uh, ignore these two here, basically because the, uh, the entire squad wasn't match fit. They all got put into the under-21s which meant basically the squads were reversed. So the first team was playing for the under-21s and the under-21s team was playing for the first team, uh, which is why the 13-0 and 10-0 results happened. Uh, we then had a 2 all draw against Paseba and then a 4-1 win against uh, Bontang. As I say, I was expecting the league to start down here against Persiporta. However, we've actually got some uh, Confederations Cup matches, which is uh, quite interesting. There are three groups, by the looks of things. That can't be right, because we're in Group H. So there's lots of groups, uh, of which we are in one. And I don't actually know what the comparison is between this and Europe. Because it's not... I don't think it's like a Champions League or anything. You're allowed to name 12 subs. Crikey. Okay, interesting. Um, see, I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure. I don't think. Oh, this might actually be. Okay, hang on. I think I might have worked it out. So in the league, there are qualifications for the two. Yeah. Okay. So because we won the league last season, we've qualified for the Asian Champions League group stage, which comes up later on in the season I believe um, and then the team in second position qualifies for the Asian Confederation Cup which is what we're in now so this is actually the result of two seasons ago when we finished second in the league we qualified for this tournament we are actually playing in both tournaments this season which is quite interesting so uh, we'll see how that goes um, injury news David Septian David He's out for between three to five months with a torn calf muscle. So I have stepped up my search for a new left winger. Currently, Augustia is playing there. Uh, we could actually start Salmon on his debut. He's not the best as a winger. We might start training him. We do also have the issue of um, we have too many international players again. So at the moment, we've got Mbandra in goal. Uh, we have Koppen as the midfielder, who also qualifies as the uh, Asian player. And then we have uh, Itiriaga up front. Now, I don't want to take Itiriaga out of the squad, obviously. Uh, my choice would have been Koppen, but because Salmon doesn't qualify as an Asian player, I can't really do that either. Uh, so the other option is to um, hope that either Mbandwa or Itiriaga qualify for Indonesian citizenship in the near future and therefore Salmon can then be registered in the extra slot so he's not eligible to play in league matches but he can play in the cups and he can play in this which is good news so hopefully um, we have a good game let's make sure match plans are set up there are lots of players that I've transfer listed. There are also players whose contracts expire at the end of the season who I will not be renewing their deals. Um, so, yeah, let's just hope everything turns out okay. Got very high squad numbers now as well. But I'd like to trim the squad down, definitely. Now, there's lots of defenders and midfielders and a couple of strikers. Sawadi is one of them, I know that, and uh, Ramadan up front as well. I'd like to get rid of so we can actually boost the team for the rest of the season uh, apparently Sai Fuddin is captain for this game right here we go first competitive match of the new season I don't actually know much about the opposition in Dira I don't even know what country they're from um, I know that we are we're in group H for some reason, A, B, C are the only ones that appear there, which is a bit annoying. Not really sure what that's about. But yeah, let's, let's hope for a good introduction. They're playing a very narrow formation, so I feel like if we can get in down the flanks, we can actually cause some problems. 
Good ball over there to Kaya. Is he going to shoot? He is. It's blocked. Goes out for a throw. Okay. Not a bad start. Got to remember to switch this back into key. Crossed in from Juan Saya. Cleared. Alice, who's back from injury now, should get this one and does. He crosses it in. Ituriaga, 1-0. Mitrakuka in the fifth minute. Sixth minute. Sorry, sixth minute. Good goal. That's a Ituriaga's trademark, really. Little run in off the defender's shoulder and then just volleys it past the keeper. Really good play by Alice. Really nice cross. And a beautiful finish from the big man up front. Who did win player of the season, I think. I won manager of the season. Um, internally, Mandoan actually won our player of the season award. Itiriaga was awarded best signing. Uh, and I think, I'm trying to remember who won young player. One of our players won young player of the season. I'm sure they did. Oh, it might be an Araboa, actually. Oh, 2-0. Mandoan. I think it might have been Araboa that won player of the season. Um, and he also won goal of the season. I think that's what happened. Either that or he won player of the month, goal of the month. I can't remember now. Let's see this goal, because I didn't really see it at the corner of my eye. Salmon got the ball here. Crossed it in. Mandoan, easy header. So I don't think Indira are the best team in this this group that we're in. Uh, I'm trying to remember who they said was the best in the group we were in. I'll have to check in a second. We're going to play two matches in this episode. Um, this match, then a couple of friendlies, which I'll skip over. And then we'll play the second group game. And I'll basically show all of the group games uh, in, this, in this competition. Because I think they're all going to be pretty important. It's the first time in this particular series that we're managing at a... Uh, a continental competitive level. Um, I mean, this is—I suppose this is the Asian version of the Europa League, so it's a big, big deal. Uh, doing well in this tournament will certainly do well for my managerial representation, managerial reputation. So I got an email on my phone that has <laughs> had the word representation in the title. I do that a lot. Does anyone else do that? Where you're saying something and you'll see a word and you'll end up saying that word by mistake. Or is it just me? Apparently it's a thing. I can't remember what the name of it is now, but um, it is a thing. Wow, I've just looked at the stats. We're 33 minutes in and they've not had a single shot yet. That's not good for them. Good for us. Not good for them. Good ball over the top. Atiriaga. Oh, he's put over the bar. We've only had two shots on target out of the nine we've had in total. So, I mean, that's not great either. Let's be fair. Would have liked to have seen more. I mean, it's been a pretty good game, I suppose. Both shots on target we have scored. But it's in fact only two of our 12 shots have so far been on target. But then this is only our fifth game of the season. We are still technically in pre-season. So I don't know whether other teams in our group will have already started their seasons. We'll have to check that in a second as well. I'm, I'm sure that's a an advantage if you're already in your season by the time the Continental Tournament rolls around. Oh, there's their, that's their third shot. So I say the first shot, I didn't look at the stats. Three shots, one on target for them. We uh, we actually need to tighten up a little bit more, I think. Another goal would, would put us in good stead. <sighs> Tell you what, they're, they're getting very, very close to scoring. And that would be very problematic for us if they did. Strengthening in the squad has actually been incredibly frustrating. The fact that Maldini and Salmon are our only two additions, even now, 
Uh, I mean, that tells you all you need to know. For some reason, I mean, the contract expiration. I'm sure there's, it's a bug in the game. Because I can't believe that the Indonesian Football League actually has the contract expiry date be halfway through the season like it is in this game. Um, I think it's like the 1st of June or the 6th of June or so something like that where the um, the contracts expire. But we're currently in late March and we're kicking off the season. So that's what cost us Kasten Hera when I first joined. Was it came up saying his contract was due to expire. And because we were halfway through the season, I assumed it was at the end of the season. But it wasn't. It was in a week's time or whatever. So he ended up leaving. Oh, nice finish, Mandoan. There we go. That's the third goal. Um, but yeah, contract expiration is difficult. So I can't even sign anyone on a free transfer at the moment. Um, with their contracts expiring in the country. I have to sign players from abroad. But I can't do that because they're all international players. And I've filled my quota. So signing players is proving to be very frustrating, particularly now that we have to sign a left winger as well. Um, I mean, Salmon is doing the job for us, it seems, in, in this competition, and he will do in the Cups as well. But in terms of the league, we've got the youngster, who I've given a new contract to, but he's only rated one star. I'd like someone at least two and a half, three star. Um, so I'm currently looking at transferring in a winger. Maybe on loan. I'm trying to buy one because I don't like loan players in these sorts of uh, environments because they end up they always end up leaving and it's always at an inconvenient time. So I would I would quite like to uh, to bring in a, a new left winger. Of course, we have got a Tiriaga that can play out there if necessary, and we have got Augustia. Although I think his deal is one of the ones that uh, expires in three months. Uh, same with Sawadi, his deal definitely expires. And I think Rahadians does as well. But I think he plays as a right winger and not as a left winger. So yeah, it's a little it's a little frustrating. Um, okay, for some reason the, the tactics has changed. But they haven't made any substitutions. Which is not very good. Basically means we've got a Tiriaga playing as a central midfielder. I mean, he's playing an 8.0. It's pretty good. Just realised this. Uh, I actually have set to that on my Hatfield save, so I might as well keep it the same here, so I can see what my team's doing as well as what the opposition are doing. All right, Ramadan brings it down nicely. Inside to Salmon. N very nice ball across to Mandoan. Araboa making space in the middle. Brilliant team goal. Very well played. What a pass that was over to Mandoan from Salmon. Look at that, just whipped it first time. And Mandoan, I mean, he's 31 now, so maybe a season or two more at the top for him. But uh, he's saying he doesn't look like slowing down this season. Two goals for him and now an assist. He's having a very, very good game. Good play there from Salmon to find a Tiriaga. He's played one over the top to Araboa. Could this be Salmon's opportunity? He is ghosting in at the far post. Ball comes in. Defender managed to bring that down well and uh, passes it out. We've definitely taken our foot off the gas now. Oh, this is bad. Good save. So I say we've taken our foot off the gas now. We're leading by four goals. Um, might as well just rest the players. Really, the the game should have made some subs now to follow the match plan, but it hasn't. I think his own teammate just blocked that shot there. That'd be a hell of a wasted opportunity if that's what did happen. Sire Fudden gets it out, but not very well. Salazar with the hoof ball there. That's the end of that one. Yeah, maybe in the 75th minute it will swap to the um, defensive tactic. Maybe some substitutions we made. If not, I'll just make them myself. I don't think it will cost us now. Araboa, beautiful first touch. Oh dear. 
There's a real knack in this league of my players doing that. They bring the ball down really well, run through, and then just completely miss hit it. It's like they shank it or something. Alright, yeah. It's not going to make the subs, so I'll do them. Um, first and foremost, Iomi on for uh, Juan Saya, and we'll move Saya Fudding up into the DM. And then Alice off. We'll give Maldini his debut. And then we'll bring off Ituriaga and we'll put on Bio. Pretty happy with that. Alright, Ramadan with the throw. Picks out Araboo. I think he was trying to find Salmon. Um, but was nowhere near the run. Maldini with the interception there. Mandoan now. Is he going to cross it? He does. Crosses it low. Knocked away from Araboo. Kaya now. He digs out a cross, but it's not a very good one. Come on, boys. Ten minutes. Clean sheet. See it out. Uh, definitely in in the press conferences and the interviews and stuff leading up to this game, it doesn't look like Indonesian football um, stands up very well in this tournament, which is a bit of a shame actually. But uh, I did say in one of my answers that the two teams that have qualified is us and a team beginning with P as Mandoan completes his hat trick. I can't remember which team it was. In fact, can we see the one here? It might have been Jara actually. It might have been Jara. But um, I said that they're two very good sides, us and them, and we might spring a couple of surprises. I don't think us winning 5-0 in this game is, is the surprise, though. I think this is actually the expected win. Um, the board expect me to be competitive in this, not win it or anything, because I think that's a bit too much of an ask. But uh, I believe they want us to get through the group stage at least, so that's going to be my target. If we get through the group stage and anything else is a bonus, I'd say. Oh, Araboo, tidy finish. Suddenly, we're looking very attacking. 23 shots, 7 on target, and we've scored 6 of them. That's bloody good. I'll tell you that. That is bloody good. Very happy with this performance. Right, Mbunjawa. Uh, I've done it again. It's not Jawa, Umbanjwa. Doesn't even matter. Kick was intercepted. Sire Fudden wins it back, finds Bayor back to Iomi. Over to Salmon. He plays a crossfield pass. Nowhere near Mandoan in the end. Uh, Chica with the ball over the top. Suleiman gets past and then puts it wide. So they've still only had two shots on target, but I would be very disappointed if we ended up conceding. I want a clean sheet in this game. That's a big confidence boost if we manage to keep a clean sheet. Bayor over to Salmon. He played very, very well this game. 9.1. He's not even scored and he's playing a 9.1. That shows you how much of an impact he's had still. Mandoan with the cross. Keeper plucked it off the head of Araboo, who himself is now on a hat trick. Uh, Zaidi to. was it? Kai Ruddin. Suleiman. Zaidi. Intercepted well by Iomi. Lovely ball to Mandoan. Again, the counter attack is on. Into Araboo. Great first touch. And he's put it wide again. 24 shots. Only 7 on target. That's my disappointment. Again, I'm very hypercritical of my teams. We've had 26 shots. And only 8 of them have been on target. That's a very poor return. I think at least half of your shots should be on target. So we should have had 13 shots on target. Which in theory meant we should have been winning like 11-0 right now. Which is probably a bit too much to ask, but 
really it's we're having snapshots whereas we could have perhaps worked the ball into a better area that's my biggest gripe there you go final whistle first home game in the uh, the Asian in Asia I suppose is the uh, the term if we're going to say in Europe if it's uh, European so in Asia and we've absolutely trounced it right so these are the four teams we're playing uh, Geylang next and they are from Singapore who's their best player Koto Ortega so they're about rated the same as us as well if you go by the wages um, and then the other team is Moralco and they are from the Philippines and their key player so yeah we're actually in a group of equal or less good teams which is um, pretty good actually I'm quite happy with that Summon makes his debut and was an absolute beast and Mandoan the fantastic hat trick and the assist so we've now got um, another friendly in fact it's two friendlies if we win this one it's the cup this is basically what I do now if I have a pre-season tournament I don't give it a fancy name I just call it the cup and if I have more than one then it will be the cup one and the cup two just because I haven't got time to think up of names so we're going to play that off camera and then we'll come back for the next match which will be Geylang International away so I will see you guys again in just a second alright we are back for the second match of this episode we are playing uh, Geylang International away from home in the second game of the Asian Confederation Cup uh, updates I've signed a winger on loan uh, this guy here, Kuniawan, uh, Kun Kuniawan. Um, he's not registered for this tournament yet. He might be after the group stage, of course. Um, yeah, happy to have him on board. I think he'll do good stuff for us. Going to make a couple of tactical changes for this game. Uh, where's Coppen? There he is. Am I going to bring him onto the bench? Might bring him into the lineup actually. And play these two like that. Uh, Ramadan is injured, which is a bit problematic. As you can see, I've got lots of players who are unregistered for this, um, including this guy. Why is why why did I not register you? That would have been a really smart idea actually. We got Pratama, I suppose. So if I swap these two and then put Iomi in hopefully we don't have to change any of our other fullbacks I am in the process of signing a new left back but again you won't be registered for this tournament until after the group stage so let's hope Ramadan's not out for a long period of time right we'll get into the game looking for a very good performance I say that every match like it's something new and revolutionary but you know what I mean Looking to build on last game, definitely. Uh, and I, I had a look at the club, uh, Geylang, before we started this game. They have an average attendance of about 2,500. To put that in context, our average attendance last season was about 4,000, I think. three, 4,000. So we're, we're very similar stature, but I just feel like we're edged slightly in terms of player quality. Particularly with some of the additions that we made during the close season. I think that makes us stand out. Funnily enough though, the media anticipate us to only finish third in the league this season. So at least from a media standpoint, the pressure is off. In terms of the uh, the board standpoint, I think they want us to um, at least challenge for the title this season. Which I suppose third place does count as challenging towards the title. So... I think overall, I'm pretty happy with the uh, the target set. Like I said in the last game, getting through the group stage is the priority in this competition. Because I reckon if we can get through that, get into the knockouts, uh, financially speaking, it'll do us a lot of good. Reputationally speaking, it'll do us a heck of a lot of good. 
That being said, Gay Gay Lang have had the uh, the better chances so far this game. We're not even ten minutes in yet, and I'm already starting to be a little bit twitchy. I might look at signing another centre back. Definitely going to look at getting rid of all the players whose contracts expire. Whether that's sell them for really cheap prices now, or um, just release them if they're termination fees are quite low just so I can make sure I've got a good core squad this season of players that actually want to play Sadiq funnily enough um, I'm trying to remember what the situation oh I offered him out that's right I offered him out and no one bid for him ooh their keeper um, so I asked him to speak to other clubs and he said he wasn't going to. So then I said about, well, I'm not going to register you for the league. And he just said, OK, that's fine. I'll sit here and earn money for with no work involved. So he's being an awkward customer. Um, so I might just release him. Uh, everyone else, I've offered them. Well, I've transfer listed them. I haven't offered them yet. But I, what I might just do is add them all to the unwanted list. Uh, sell for any value, I think, is the uh, the option. So basically I'll take any money for them. Um, just to get them off the wage bill would be the, the biggest advantage right now. They're not worth that much. I think 26000 is the uh, is the most expensive player. Oh, Mandoan. That was a really good opportunity. But yeah, just trim the squad down. Something that I'm starting to do in all my series now is, is really streamline the squad and focus on just building a core group of players see us through the season and then work on fitness and get some good physios in and fitness coaches to to make sure they actually see see out the entirety of the season that's actually better than waiting for someone to get injured and then just signing a replacement because really that that just breaks the bank um, and particularly at this club I think we're already four hundred thousand pounds in debt the actual club overall is only worth six hundred thousand so if you knock off the debt that means they're only worth two hundred thousand so uh, it's it doesn't look great financially speaking, but on the pitch we're looking really good. So definitely want to keep that momentum going. We're actually, we're, I mean, we're edging the, this match. We we've got the better possession. We've had the same number of shots, but we've had two on target, whereas they've had none. We really should try and snatch a goal before half time. I thought that might have been it. I was half expecting the keeper to kick it to one of our players and they just volley it into the empty net. Didn't quite happen, unfortunately. And they have broken through and it's just over the bar again. Oi. This high line, I might need to look at that. I don't think the high line does us any favours. Alright, that's half time, nil nil. We're away from home. That's the excuse I'm going to give for us not absolute dominating the game, is we are away from home. We got a couple of 6.4s out there. Coppin's only playing a 6.3. So we're not doing that well. And Bios just come on for a Tiriaga. So we have switched to the 4231 now. Because we are drawing in the second half. And I believe we've switched to overload as well. So he's hoping we make more chances. It's one of these counterintuitive things actually normally like I do this all the time when I'm trying to grab a late goal I always put as many people up front as possible but actually I think w doing what we've done here is is the more sensible option going with one focus of attack with the two wingers and then having someone who can follow up the attack behind which is what Bayor is there to do essentially as a second striker so we are still playing two up front but the way that we're approaching it is different so Araboa is is the um, the main target, and if the attack breaks down or if it gets intercepted and ends up bouncing free to the edge of the box, then Bayor comes into play. Now something we don't really have with just a flat two up front. Also linking the attack to the midfield better as well. That's one of the uh, the reasons why Bayor plays as the, the second striker. Ah. Oh! And I thought it just paid off then. Just wide for Maraboa. Very unlucky.
Uh, uh, Salazar's already been booked. Moron. Right. Um, Hizaj, I'm going to bring on at left wing here. And then I'm going to drop Coppen into the back. Alice is going to drop. Maybe not, actually. He's going to stay there. And I'm going to bring on Pratama. That's pretty much how we're going to have to stay for the rest of the game now. Because of that stupid red card. Right, Bayor. Miss Red Araboros. Araboos run. God, there's a, there's a mouthful. Araboos. <laughs> Another shot just over the bar. They've had ten shots, none on target. We've had... Like I said last game, it was a third now, but it was just less than half of our shots were on target. Which is about what I'd expect. So I'm quite happy with that. Okay, pause game. Go into tactics. We're going to move Bio back into midfield like so. And then we're going to move Mandoan and Hissage up front. Uh, what other positions can you play? Defensive forward. You're going to be an advanced forward set to attack. You're going to be a poacher set to attack. And then here we're going to pump ball in the box, exploit the middle. Go route one, take more risks much deeper line and play I'm going to encourage them right, Iomi plays it first time inside to Bayor Araboo, Mandoan tried to find Hizaj, very nearly did actually we've been caught out a little bit here counter attack is on they got a lot of players forward Oof, that's their best player there, Ortega and he's somehow missed as well. So they've had 12 shots, still no shot on target. I'll probably take a draw here. It's just how well we'll do against Moralco. I mean, Galang beat Moralco, so I'm expecting us to uh, to do the same. It's going down to 10 men. That's what's killed us in this game. I reckon we actually had a, a chance still. They got five across midfield now as well. It's one of the reasons why I went with three up top, because then it's three v three v three. But we just don't seem to be able to get the ball up to them at the moment. Or oh, they've had a shot on target now. We've had five in one less shot. So there you go. Ah, it looks like it's going to be a, a nil nil. This one, maybe one last attack at the end here from uh, Ortega. Good interception. Plays it forward. Just asking a little too much of Araboa. Long ball forward from their keeper. Uh, Kaya really messed up that header. Ayomi got the interception spot on there though. And that's full time. Didn't exactly set the world on fire there. And uh, Salazar will be given a warning. I don't think I can find him because he's a lone player. But uh, he got himself sent off stupidly. So he's got a one match ban now. Uh, I might look at what other centre backs I can get in. I'll have a look at loans first. None. Transfer. I think I'd look at this before. This is the only guy that really I can sign because he's the only Indonesian. Um, what I should do actually is go into the league table Indonesian League 1 uh, awards, award winners team of the year Ooh. you're actually available on a free transfer I'm not making you vice captain you could forget that what about this guy He's available as well. 
I wonder if I can bring him in on trial. Interesting. Uh, this guy, actually, maybe not. But I see this guy I tried to sign, but I don't think it was him. Some other guy. Uh, there's a Turiaga in the team of the year, and Ramadan actually got in at left back as well, which is funny because we're about to replace him. And then there's this guy who caused us quite a few problems actually when we uh, played against them, and he's also coming to the end of his contract. So it looks like this team are losing all of their players. And these are our title rivals. Justin Steven is Indonesian. I'll give him a scout. This might be, I mean, it's not cheating, but it might be a bit uh, ungentlemanly, should we say, to, uh, to try and snatch all of their best players. But they're there for the taking. I say go for it. Is one of your goalkeepers available? And you're the guy who's actually being picked. Let's see if I can bring him in as well. Anyway, that's going to be the end of the episode. So, next episode, we've now got four friendlies in a row, and then we're playing Moralco, and then Indira again. So, we'll be coming back for the Moralco game, and then uh, come back for the second half for the Indira game. So, until then, guys, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and of course if you're enjoying the series, drop some comments down below with ideas for tactics, signings, um, tactics, signings, staff editions, and any countries you'd like to see me manage in. Besides that, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to click the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support, and until next time, I'll see you soon.